In future versions of Subtitle Edit, it's going to be possible to have your audio or video automatically transcribed inside Subtitle Edit so that you can speed up the process of creating your subtitles or closed captions in whatever language that will be available. Welcome to this video and this is uh, a fast look uh, for Subtitle Edit 3.6.4 beta and uh, basically these are the releases that are usually done in the background where they're testing out all these things. So let's begin off uh, by looking at this feature which is pretty awesome. Uh, we'll go to video, I'll click on video, open video file and then we'll just select a video that we would love to have subtitle edit automatically transcribe into text. So I'll just click on that video uh, and basically it loads up and all that. The next process would be for you to actually begin either typing out your subtitles or importing a subtitle file etc. But in the beta version that uh, is before the, 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 the release, official release of 3.6.5, it's possible to uh, convert the voice or audio to text. So you'll need to go to video and then you'll see the option called video stroke audio to text. Now, since this is the beta version, make sure that you actually download the beta version to test this out. And I'll leave a link below, uh, subtitle that it is free. Just click on that. And once you click on that, you'll see the option uh, called subtitle edit, download the libraries for VOSK. Now, I will not do that because they're a little bit uh, huge, but what I'll do, I'll go back to the folder uh, since I had them, here they are, control, uh, I just cut and put them back inside the folder uh, that I have here. I refresh that and then come back to video, click on video to text. Now, once I do that, what is going to happen is it's going to recognize that I already have uh, the library files and whatever, uh, but you can click uh, on this and basically generate text from audio via VUSK stroke Caldi speech recognition. Click on this to see uh, this particular website uh, and you can check out all the languages and whatever is involved. So you can read the models uh, involved here uh, and all those good things. Uh, if you want the, the bigger, or the, the bigger uh, libraries or the models, then you can actually just get that. Uh, but for this one, uh, what I downloaded is the smallest English model, VUSK model, and you can just click on it uh, to download uh, the, the huge files if that's what you're into. But let's say we just downloaded uh, this. So depending on the language that you're working with, you will need to select the model. For example, this is the English model. English US and if you click on the drop down that's what's available if you click on these three uh, dots here if I click on that you can choose to download the VUSK models just click on this and if you had uh, audio that is in Spanish Chinese French German Portuguese Italian Dutch Swedish Russian Farsi Turkish Greek Arabic Ukrainian Filipino Kazakhstan then you can choose from here if you click let's assume you click on Spanish then click on download, you're going to download the VUSK model for Spanish. But since I already have the VUSK model for English, there's no need to download anything else. So you can open the models folder uh, and also there's a checkbox where you need to use post-processing, line merge, fix casing, punctuation and more. And this is pretty awesome and I've noticed that it's doing a pretty good job. So once you're satisfied with this, all you need to do is just click on generate and then this is going to actually automatically transcribe this particular audio into text so that you can begin creating your subtitles pretty quick. Just click on generate and we'll just give it a couple of minutes loading, transcribing audio to text. Uh, it gives you the time remaining, which is pretty awesome. So that if you're working on a huge video, this is just a three minute video, then you'll know how fast or how long it's going to take. But normally this is just a place of holder for the time. I've noticed that it's taking uh, just less time, probably more or less for like a three minute video is taking about a minute or less. So uh, it's, it's pretty fast uh, based on the advancements that are going on. But uh, just let's just give it a couple of seconds. And to me personally, I feel this is a great addition to subtitle edit. Uh, Hopefully uh, it can, uh, we can see how good or how best it can be. Uh, and uh, my assumption is 
if you go for the bigger models here, the 1.8 GB uh, models, then clearly uh, you'll have uh, a better control of what is output uh, in actually a subtitle edit. So about 30 more seconds to go. So uh, those are some few of the advancements that are going on in subtitle edit in the background in the beta version and you can always test them out to see and give feedback to the creators uh, via github and all that so uh, sorry there's a bad outside my window uh, so uh, let's just give it a couple of seconds and then listen to what results we're going to get uh, there we have it uh, it's it's already done and if i just look at it i believe this is what i say in the video so let's just play and listen with the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Hi, my name is David from freelancerinsights.com. Clearly, the type of work it's done to just automatically transcribe the audio from the video into text is superb. Secondly, it has already timed this for you. So if you wanted to speed up the process, for example, uh, let's say we just want uh, to merge with line before, uh, you can just do that quickly and uh, we can just make this into something like that uh, let's say we play from here youtube transcripts so instead of it's pretty awesome clearly you can speed up the creation of your subtitles very very fast with the automatic uh, speech to text uh, functionality that is actually going to be in future versions of subtitle edit maybe from subtitle edit 3.6.5 but if you're like me and you're a little bit uneasy and feel like you want to test it out, then try it out uh, from the beta versions. So those are my just initial thoughts. I think it's doing a good job in terms of punctuation. Uh, clearly, when I look at it, uh, yes, it does need some refining uh, and all that. Uh, because for these one words, uh, probably you might need them to be a couple of words. Uh, you join them and all that. Uh, but basically, uh, when I look at it, it looks pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, uh, when I look at all this, clearly... Thank you for watching and have a good time. Clearly, it's done a good job. Straight up, it's a big, big advancement in subtitle edit. So those are just my initial thoughts. And just to introduce this to you, if you want to try it out, just try it out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time. Stay safe and never stop learning.